Hi everyone, I'm Eric. I'm Alex. And the question for this video about studying medicine in English in Italy is... How do you do exams? Oral? Written? What, what's the deal with that? Uh, great question. How are your marks determined? Okay, let's start with marks themselves at Italian medical schools. In Italy, generally, for any given exam or paper or thesis or whatever, you get a mark out of 30 points. Yeah, so that's the maximal mark you can get. 30 is the maximal and 18 is the minimal passing uh, mark. Yes, and if you do a really good job on work, sometimes you can get con lode, which means with honors. Uh, it's the equivalent, for example, to a French mention bien, uh, and uh, it's pretty rare. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. But uh, what are the types of exams that you actually get to see in uh, Italy? Yeah, basically, there's written exams and oral exams. So we'll talk about each of those, starting with the written exams. Uh, a lot of them are multiple choice. Uh, some of them include uh, short answer questions. Uh, and uh, But uh, yeah. <laughs> does that mean that it's you get only the written exam? Because like in Pavia, for example, we had sometimes a combination. You get like yeah. a, new, a written one followed by the oral one, the same topic. But most of the times I think it's written, right? Yeah. And there's also a, 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 like a more um, global sort of move towards written exams, uh, especially true for Pavia, I think, for Milan? Yeah, that's that's actually not true in Milan. Milan is preserving oral exams. Pavia, had, administrators have told me that they've been phasing out oral exams in most subjects in Pavia. Uh, other schools, uh, for example, uh, Rome, ha have a mix of oral and written with more of an emphasis on the written examinations. So it's going to vary from school to school. It's one of the things you're going to want to take into consideration when you're choosing your first choice med school. Okay, so let's talk for a moment about the oral exams because yeah. I think that's sort of the thing that most uh, non-Italians are not very familiar with. So how does it work? Right, okay. So the first thing to know about oral exams is that the structure of the oral exam and the way that it's carried out varies considerably from school to school and from professor to professor. So uh, it's very hard to generalize about every single oral exam. But essentially what it is, is you sit in a room with one professor or sometimes a panel of professors. It's usually a public event. So other students and other professors, if they want, can come and watch you perform your oral exam. And then you're asked questions uh, and you have to answer them uh, and elaborate on them. Uh, the duration of an oral exam can be as short as five minutes and... I've seen them go on to as long as an hour. And in that case, actually, the person didn't pass. Yeah, that was also my experience. So those exams can, uh, maybe Pavia, it was more towards the half an hour was sort of the uh, sure. the, the average. Mm -hmm. um, and like Eric said, it's, it's a performance, actually. <laughs> I, I really agree with yeah. that term. Because you can see people are coming with button shorts. Yeah. Uh, in more advanced year, you can yeah. even see people come with, uh, with uh, real ties and suits. Um, and you're expected to perform in yeah. a sense that you have to to convey knowledge in a in a very convincing way. Yeah. So you're you're being asked usually a question in Pavia, especially yeah. of of a very broad spectrum. So for example, uh, talk about like you know some disease of the liver, mm -hmm. and you have to come up with a structural answer, structured yeah. answer from introduction to uh, body and everything, yeah. without expecting any in between questions. Mm -hmm. And at the end of it, you're getting a, a grade. Yeah. Which, like we said. Yeah. And I, I, we'd be really, really honest with you guys about this. Oral exams are a topic that a lot of people have difficulty with. They're something that they're discussed a lot within medical schools among the students. This is because oral exams have a particular tradition in Italy. Italian students have been doing it in many cases for many years uh, during their secondary schooling or even before that. So they're used to it where students coming from other countries – uh, for example, the UK, the United States, other parts of Europe, all over the world actually may not have been doing oral exams. Uh, and one professor pulled me over, Alex, once, uh, and we were talking about it. And she said, you know, Eric, the Italians are really better at the oral exams than the non-Italians. And uh, I looked at her and I thought to myself, well, yeah, of course, because they've been having practice doing that. And also you guys share a common language. That was a professor who was Italian and had Italian as a mother tongue. And to a certain extent, if you have two 
Italian mother tongue speakers speaking English to each other, they actually have a kind of linguistic rapport that doesn't exist if you have a native English speaker or a non-native English speaker who's also not a native Italian speaker talking to an Italian professor with an Italian background in English. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> that, that was a complex yeah, yeah, one. <laughs> yeah, okay, right. I hope, did you get the idea? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but also you, you have to imagine that in an oral exam, you're getting a question. You're basically expected to start talking right away. Mm -hmm. So think about all the preparation it actually requires. Yeah. yeah? It's not just recognizing yeah. passively yeah. some yeah. words that you could have memorized. Right. It's actually knowing what you're talking about mm -hmm. and knowing to structure your, uh, your answer yeah. really well. So that's not easy, and people really spend a lot of time preparing for those oral exams. And I, I, my experience was whenever it's an oral exam, people take this extra time to prepare yeah. for. Yeah, one example of an exam question, for example, that I saw was, please describe the heart, right? So a question, what do you do with that? I mean, there are literally textbooks that have been written about the heart. You could describe the heart. I mean, cardiologists could talk about heart for a week, Right, so you have to somehow take that abstract question and like, and sort of put it all into a nice five-minute package with a bow on the top, and uh, uh, that makes it, that demonstrates your knowledge about whatever the topic it is that they've asked. I want to mention one more thing about oral exams. One criticism of oral exams is that they are subjective and that professors can evaluate students and give them higher or lower marks based on whether or not they like the students personally as opposed to whether or not their academic performance is good. This has been a topic. It's it's sad that it's being discussed, but you, you know, we we're, we are 100% with you guys as real as we can be. And that that is something that people have been talking about at the med school. So some of the schools are phasing out oral exams on the grounds that they are necessarily subjective. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Anything else you wanted to mention in terms of exams? For example, practicals, uh, yeah, something sure. that comes up in Milan quite often, not as much in Pavia. I uh, mean, actually, uh, in Milan, uh, not so much, but some of the newer med schools that are, that mm. are uh, coming around, uh, Turin, uh, Bologna, and Milano Bicocco, which is based out of Bergamo, Bergamo, uh, is uh, those schools have been talking about uh, in, including practice. Some of those schools have been talking about possibly including practical evaluations as part of the marking score. So in other words, when you're doing an internship in a clinic, the professor or doctor that you're working with will evaluate how you do within that practical internship environment. Pretty interesting. Uh, also, you have a final thesis, but we'll talk about that in another video. Yeah. So for the practical, it, it doesn't mean that you don't have practicals in Milan and Pavia. It okay. just means that the evaluation is, is, uh, is of different, yeah. maybe a weight in the final yeah. mark of the of the uh, of the laurea of, yeah. of this uh, study uh, program. Yeah, that's right. But that's like Eric said, is a different topic, and we'll cover it later. Yeah. In fact, we're going to cover it in our next video, which is about the structure of the courses of the med schools in English in Italy. So make sure you take a look at that. Don't forget to subscribe by pressing this little button. And always, you can find us on medschool.it and on our medschool.it Facebook group. And then. We're always glad to, uh, to see you guys, and we're so grateful uh, for all your interest in med schools in Italy. Ciao. Ciao.